Hi guys, welcome to The Gun Shop with me, John. Today, we're gonna to be testing how far a 12 ball shotgun can kill birds. For this test, first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna test pattern density. For that, we're gonna use a proper high bird gun. We've got a full choke Maruku Mark 38. We're gonna be firing top barrel, which is full choke. We're gonna be firing probably the heaviest high bird load you'd wanna shoot a game. This is a 40 gram four. We've got targets, we're gonna shoot them from 50, 60, 70, and 80 yards. Go down and have a look. So it's still at exactly 70 yards and the wind's just blowing the target down. Back in a sec. So having just been down there and checked the sparseness of some of those targets, what we're actually gonna do for 70 and 80 yards is I'm gonna fire three top barrels and then we're gonna divide the amount of pellets on the target by three. Seems fairer. There's literally nothing pleasurable about shooting loads like this. Why people would take these loads to actually go and shoot game with and shoot 100 in a day? I don't know. I mean, my gun's not set up for that sort of recoil abuse. But it's nine pounds, so I don't usually suffer from anything. Ow. 80 yards. Here goes. Three more punishments. So the whole point of this test has arisen from conversations on what a high bird is. I think there is a point where skill is lost and as much as you are skillful with a shotgun, ballistics actually is what you're fighting. A lot of people who say they shoot 70 yard birds consistently, I don't think you can. And I'm just doing this test to see whether it's actually possible. Firstly, with patterning, and B, with actually if you've got any energy left. So before we look at these results, I wanna lay my cards down. I think 50 yards is a high bird. I think 40 yards is a high bird. I think a high bird is determined by something that you can kill cleanly, every time. So I'm happy to say 40 to 50 yards is where I'm happy shooting the high birds. On that note, here is the 50 yard card. There are eight pieces of lead on here. That is a dead pheasant. Here is a 60 yard card. There are five bits of lead on this card. One, two, three, four, five. We're starting to go into the territory that actually, if that was the back end of a bird and this was the front end, you could be looking at a wound potentially. So 70 yards, we had three hit shots. We got seven hits on this card. That's 2.33 hits per shot. So if you think you can shoot 70 yard birds consistently, I'd love for you to show me how uh, and what wonder cartridges and what wonder chokes you use. But in reality, I just don't think it's true. At 80 yards, we had two hits per shot. So not that dissimilar from a 70 yarder. However, you gotta think the deceleration from 70 to 80 yards, there's a lot less energy here. So pattern wise, I'm happy to say just shy of 60 yards is where I'd be happy shooting. You look at that 60 yard card, this is about right. So I'm gonna call that 55 yards is as far as I would happily shoot these cartridges at birds for pattern. At this point, I'm gonna try and do some penetration testing. For that, I'm gonna require it to go through three bits of card faced with leather. Only very thin leather mind. However, what I'm looking for is not the minimum energy to kill a bird. I wanna guarantee there's enough energy down there to knock that bird stone dead. Here goes, one barrel into the leather. I'm gonna put another barrel into a card just so we can get a, another pattern to show you. So do people actually use 45 gram fours for 55 yard pheasants? Of course they don't. More than likely you're gonna have these in your bag. A 32 gram of five for what I would call a good high bird all the way down to an average pheasant. So we're gonna test these up against the left hand leather target for penetration and the left hand card target for pattern. And weigh them up to see whether you actually need to buy 40 gram fours. First things first, they're so much sweeter to shoot. Good job, Hull. I really need to state that actually, always gonna pick a gun up to a high bird. It takes a hell of a man not to raise a gun to that absolutely stonking pigeon, like that one there. All that amazing pheasant and try your wits. What I'm saying is, is it okay to shoot at them every day, all day? I suppose that decision is up to you. Target one, there's a couple of holes on the right hand side of the leather, two holes on the right hand side of the leather. 
and there's one bit that's actually bounced clean off and underneath you'll see a perfectly clean card before we go on we're gonna have another shot at this and see whether it was just a dud pattern let's try that again so we've had a bit more success this time we actually had some shots hit the target and go through the leather that's one two three Something that probably should be mentioned is putting super heavy loads through a tight choke will give you no consistency. And actually most research that I've done and other people have done will concur that a half choke will give you more consistent patterns if you insist on shooting these super heavy loads. Let's move on. I would say the penetration is, um, is all there, you know? We've got it going all the way through, just. Hold on, hold on. There is a piece of four shot sat in the back card. I'll personally be very interested to see how the other ones do. It's also worth bearing in mind guys that actually heavier loads are slower. So as much as you're putting more lead out there, speed kills. Speed does kill. Another quick test card with those 40 gram fours actually gave a one, two, three, four, five, six hits on a nine inch disc at 55 yards. All this has shown me is actually those 40 gram fours are not that consistent through that gun and that choke. Uh, but that can be said for a lot heavy loads. Let's move on. So here are the 32 gram five high pheasants. Uh, the leather has been pierced and we have, Christ, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 hits. I mean, that's a lot more lead. That's a lot more collective energy uh, right there. Let's pull it off and have a look behind. We have continued all the way through, continued all the way through, in fact, we've got complete penetration there. Nothing shaking out whatsoever. 55 yards, full choke, high pheasant, holes, 32 ground fives, 12 hits on card. That is a stone dead bird. We've tested the penetration and actually it's almost equal because of the speed that it has to those heavy load fours. Am I saying not to shoot a bird further than that? No, of course not. If a bird, a stonking bird comes over here on the line, you want to test your skill and you've got the right cartridge set up and you've tested it, then why not give it a crack? However, is it right to shoot at those all day long? I suppose that's up to your moral ambiguity. I suppose in reality, what we need to do is test out other cartridges. So we'll see you in episode two. Hi guys, welcome to the gun shop. 